Do not my dad! What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again. So, uh, Dr. D and I uh, today, like not today for y'all, because like today for y'all is like days from now, but like today for me, whatever. Clarifications aside. Dr. D and I shot another episode of our podcast and hopefully, 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 after months of trials and tribulations, we are going to have an episode for you guys to like listen to. So that's very exciting. We have had so many issues. Um, like first, you know, we wanted to have a backlog. So we're like, okay, we'll record a bunch of them. And then, um, she wanted to use this app she wanted to use the anchor app and um we're like okay cool so i said you know we put this the podcast in a google drive she tries to upload them to the anchor app anchor app is like nah nigga that them files is too big like the dig don't fit you know like you feel me you feel me y'all feel me the dig don't fit the yeah okay right so we're like okay we'll make it smaller right so compress them, make them smaller. She still can't upload them. No explanation why it don't work. Turns out it's the wrong file type. So we're like, okay, fine, great, whatever. We will go ahead and change the file type. And then through it all, uh, Dr. D just got fed up and is like, I'm uploading it to SoundCloud. So um, she may or may not be like, it is unclear if we're do using SoundCloud or Spotify or what we're doing, but something is happening there will be a link eventually um and make sure you keep an eye out for a patreon um and with the patreon what we're thinking is that we will have video to go along with the um podcast so you guys get to kind of see like the raw uncut version <laughs> of our podcast um just to be clear we are not going to be dressed up we are not going to be cute we will probably look like bums but like that is uh, that is something that we are discussing and we are considering. So, you know, just keep an eye out. There might be some little mini rumblings uh, going on. Uh, today, we are here for something new, all new, brand new for you. Uh, I have never, I don't think, reacted to this on my channel before. We are here to watch Young Dawn the Sauce God. Um, it The video just came up in my recommended. And I was like, ah, oh, you know, why not? I'm, you know, in the market for some new material. So, uh, it's set, it, the, the title is I wrecked her bathroom on our first date. And I'm just, I'm so concerned. I'm, I'm so concerned for this man, but, um, we're here. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. Is there a better food for a dinner date night than sushi? Honestly. Like everything about it just works well for a dinner date night. Sushi First of all, bomb. the restaurant is always vibes, bro. Dim lighting, cool Asian decor, and the service is usually one step up in quality. Not as nice as like a five-star Brazilian steakhouse. Right, okay. But way better than like a Chili's. Film. You <laughs> yeah. feel a little yeah. bougie in like a nice sushi restaurant. Agreed. And the price definitely reflects it. Okay, this is not a cheap date night. You gotta be ready to break off some bread. And you gotta leave a tip, bro. It, it just have some class. Just try to look like you at least, you know, got a little something about you, man. You gotta leave a good tip. But Agreed. don't get me yes. wrong, okay? This is not a first date kind of restaurant. This is like a, a nice little reward for good behavior on Shorty's part. You know, you don't just take any and any girl to okay. get sushi. She okay. gotta work her way up to that. You know what I mean? Start small, you know, chilies pizza wings and you work nigga look if you take me to Chili's on our first date we not we probably not getting a second date let's be real real Chili's I don't deserve better than a Chili you can't at least take me to Olive Garden hello your way up to sushi or else you're gonna set the bar too high too early next thing <laughs> you know you're buying Birkins for Valentine's Day that is not the move, bro. So right before the it summer is, of 2020, last year, it. this was right before things got <laughs> really bad. This cute little ting ting slid into my DMs, bro. You know what I mean? Shorty was from Houston. She caught my attention. So we strike up a little conversation. Next thing you know, she tells me that if I'm ever in the H, I should pay her a visit. 
Well, fast forward like a month and a half, two of my best friends, who formed a duo known as 340Yori, rappers and now YouTube animators, made the move from Florida to Houston. They used to live with me in Austin, but when I moved to LA, they moved back to their home state of Florida, and now they were gonna get their own place in Houston. So, feeling kinda like a proud big brother, because they are a few years younger than me, I wanted to go and see the new spot, so I booked my ticket, made my way to H-Town. So I get to their crib, right? They show me around, and I was quite impressed, you know? We spent the day catching up, making TikToks. Now, of <laughs> course, I... Sorry, real quick. This animation of him, like, walking inside reminds me of that TikTok where it's like, oh, this is nice! This is nice! This is nice! Oh, this is nice! Like, that's, that's what that reminded me of. I don't know why. I'd given Shorty a heads up that I was gonna be in town so that, you know, she could make a little town for the boy. As it drew closer to nighttime, I was like, it's go time. So I shoot her a text, letting her know that I was gonna be free for the night, and then she said, come through, it's a go. I hit her back like I Now I'm at her house. Or rather, now I'm at her apartment. Uh, I took an Uber, of course. And I could see that Shorty was living pretty nice, you know what I mean? This was a pretty big high rise, it was looking clean. I was like, okay. All right, let's see what's inside. Then I see this petite little brown thing walk out to the front. She was wearing a black long sleeve crop top with these short denim jeans. And she had long flowing black hair. Makeup was all done up. And then I was like, thank God, Jesus. Cause you, ne you never know, you never know. I mean, we had okay. FaceTimed a couple times before I showed up, but until you meet a girl in person, you don't know what she's gonna look like, bro. Okay. So she comes out, introduces herself, gives me a hug, Small as hell. and leads me up to her apartment. So we get to her spot, she pours a couple drinks, and we just get to talking. You know, it turns out she was in university, she was about to enter her final year in law school, grew up in Texas, dad was Korean, mom was Mexican, came from the valley. That's right, she a valley girl. Broke up with her ex a little less than a year ago, said he was boring. Shame. So we turn on some Netflix and then I let her know that I was feeling a little hungry. So then she's like, uh, I have some pasta I made earlier. I could heat it up for you. I was like, eh, I'm not really feeling like pasta right now. So then she's like, do you like sushi? Oh, sushi. Shorty says she about to blow the bag on dinner. That's what I'm talking about. She orders up the food on Postmates. We get a refill on the mimosas. Okay. We cut on the movie and then a great night. Shawty, I know how this is supposed to go. Been down this road before. You don't gotta say it to my face. So, real quick, I have a thing. I have a thing about ordering sushi. And, like, I know you can do it and I know it's fine, but I don't think I could eat sushi that is delivered to me. Like, maybe if it came from somewhere, like, mad fucking close, right? Like, if it came from, like, five, seven minutes down the street, 10 minutes is pushing it, right? Like, but like all the sushi places that Chavez and I like to go to are like 30, 40 minutes away from the house. I can't, I can't like, I, I can't eat that. That's 30 minutes of the sushi not being fresh off the table. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. That just does not like, so I just, I'm very concerned about where this is gonna go. I know that I'm just another phase. Baby, I know that you're scared of cash. Oh, yeah. You don't want to turn this into baggage. Oh, yeah. Baby, girl, she treat me like a heavy. Yeah. Fast forward a few hours, and now it's about 2 o'clock in the morning, and we're both fast asleep in bed. It was quiet, dark, and the only lights were coming from the skyscrapers in the distance in downtown Houston. When suddenly, I'm awoken by a strange feeling in my stomach. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on. My stomach had the grumbles. It wasn't a good sign. First, I tried to go back to sleep, hoping I could sleep off whatever this feeling was. But the grumbles only got stronger. Oh, I realized so that I was going to have to make my way to the bathroom. So I carefully slid my arm from underneath her body. I sit up 
and then I tiptoe my way oh, to the bed. Now, just... I could tell just by the way my stomach was acting <laughs> you know, that this was about to be bad, bro. Know. And I was worried because her apartment, although it was nice, was rather small. Oh, yeah. In fact, her bathroom door led right into her bedroom. Pretty much, she was so close to the toilet that if it were not for this separating wall between us, I would have been able to just reach out and touch her. I was out of time. Okay. The nuclear reactor had hit critical mass. Oh no! There was nothing I could do. But this bathroom was about to be done so. I reach over, turn on the shower. Zero. I turn on the shower and I just start praying to God that this girl does not smell what I got cooking, bro. It was agonizing I'm one so i couldn't make sorry. any noise like verbally you know and this was one of those dig your heels in and just grunt to get through it kind of dumps bro oh, no. two i had to flush in between rounds to minimize the <laughs> smell but now i run the risk of waking her up and letting her on to the fact that i'm in the middle of <laughs> desecrating her toilet in the most egregious of ways my oh child. this is and look, so unfortunate you be able to take a dump with your girl in the next room. But this is not a good look for the first night, like, bro. Like, this is now the she's first gonna time you've ever if met. If I'm gonna fall back into bed with mud butt. Finally, it was over. The tank was empty. And as soon as I was able, I gathered myself and climbed into the shower to wash away the filth. I get oh out of the God. shower, put on some fresh boxers. Pro tip, Always carry a second pair of clean undies when you're going over a girl's house. Not wrong. Then I quietly crawl back under the covers. Moral of the story, if you're about to have a date night with a girl, and it's the first time, you can choose between eating sushi and homemade pasta. Just eat the pasta. Go with the pasta, bro. <laughs> I I'm assuming. I'm assuming that it ends well, right? Like, he didn't tell us. So I'm gonna assume it ended well and she did not wake up and like, yo, what the fuck happened in my house? Is there like a fucking sewage leak? What's going on? What's ha What happened? Like, you know, cause sometimes that smell be lingering, bro. Like, lit, lit. That was mad unfortunate. And I just feel like the stress of it I don't know if I could have handled it. I probably would have just left. I would have taken a shower and I probably would have dipped. I'm like, so I'm gonna text her like, so sorry, had to go, wasn't feeling great. Like, I don't know, but I I don't know, I, I can't. I don't, I don't, I don't think I could have handled it. He handled it much better than I would have. But just to be clear, yes, buy Birkin bags on Valentine's Day. Take a girl to sushi on the first date, okay? Wine and dine women, they deserve, okay? Auntie Hoosin, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave your action requests and recommendations down in the comments below. And other than that, peace out, Hope Biscuits. It's skinless.